making uh, making strides. It's uh, never pretty this time of year. That's certainly the case right now. But I think we see some guys improving and uh, certainly anxious to, to see how things go the next six practices. The guys are working hard, and uh, you know, hopefully we can we can continue to improve. With, has it been, with today's uh, NCAA taking away the satellite camps, this is still in, right? I mean, this is something you'd want to continue, and I think would still be legal. Yeah, I think this is still legal. Yeah. I think yeah. yeah, it's just camps not uh, moving spring ball, but yeah, they may, may make you stay in state one of these days. I don't know. That might be on the uh, docket one of these uh, near meetings. But yeah, we, you know, this is something we want to do. It's it's just a chance for us to uh, come to Central Iowa, not only to say thank you to the people of this area, the immediate area, but also Western Iowa. I know there's some people that drove over from uh, Western Iowa tonight. So, you know, they they, uh, they come to Kinnick uh, very faithfully seven times a year, and they've done that for a long, long time. And, and it's a good change of pace for our players too. And then, you know, we added uh, the, the opportunity this time to interface with some young fans, which to me kind of ties in. You know, it's amazing when I travel around the state and it's been this way for uh, the last 17 years. The I Club circuit, I can't tell you how many people I've met that tell me they started coming to games when they were little kids with either a mom, dad, or a grandparent, that type of thing. So there's a real family atmosphere aspect, I guess, to uh, Iowa football. And uh, this is just one way for us maybe to say thank you that way and try to you know, follow up on that theme.